Okay, let's get started here. I have already laid down a spread and we're going to continue pulling cards together. But let's get started here. I have in the past energy the Four of Cups in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so what I see here, I see a boredom, um, a discontentment. A place where perhaps you've been evaluating your situation and then you just realize that you know this is not where you should be or this is not you know this the the, the place where you belong so you want to make a move you want to move forward however the wheel is not turning yet on your favor here this is the challenge okay the wheel is not yet turning on your favor. Why? Because it feels like you still have to acquire some lessons in order for you to use them and to turn that wheel forward. Okay, you're still a little bit confused. That was in the past energy, but what I feel here is this confusion is also taking you, you know, in the present and in the future. Why is that? Because here I, with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, so, okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, also a Capricorn, but you could also be dealing with an earth sign and this could be their moon arising as well. So I don't, I do not want you to focus on, on the signs in particular, but this is you. This is the King of Cups and this is the heart of the matter where you are. And this is you, Pisces. Okay. But what I feel here, there is a you know a little bit of frustrations frustrations because you still cannot turn this wheel on your favor and you don't know which path to th to take also with the scattered thoughts here it feels like you want to move but you can't there is a definite either um toxic energy or some addiction that you addictions that you need to get rid of in order to move things you know however you could also be dealing here with a Capricorn and things are not moving the way you want at this particular point of time because as you can see here there is frustrations however it is affecting your emotional state at the moment but you have a beautiful opportunity here and you're confused about that and still it feels like you can't leave this energy here the toxic energy you have a hard time. I mean, you would like to move, but because your, your scattered thoughts are not letting you think straight in order to get rid of this energy here and, you know, reach this new beginning. However, you can sense a new beginning happening to you. You can sense this, you know, um, turning point you can sense it but yet it's not happening yet i feel like there is a little bit of delay when it comes to that but let me i would like to ask the cards about oops i still did not ask my question your environment here please show me pisces environment okay okay so the king of wands could definitely be a fire sign you're involved with. So scattered thoughts about this person. Interesting. However, it feels like you are going to take action. You are going to move forward. Even if here you can't, you know, there is, a, you know, an energy that is preventing you from moving forward. But you have an outline. This is your environment. Let me see your emotional state here. Please show me your emotional, the emotional state of Pisces. Thank you. Justice. Okay. Interesting and beautiful as well. So something is going to come to an end when it comes to, you know, balancing what is good and what is not good for you. So whatever is not serving you will definitely drop here this is what i feel and with the devil you know the king of cups and the devil perhaps you balancing both sides of you you know the king of cups speaks about you know how emotional you are and how um devoted and willing to make you know 
efforts for anyone but here with perhaps this energy it's not allowing you to move forward however maybe somebody here is going to help you balance yourself or bring justice to a specific situation this is a general reading we are going to do a love spread just after that okay so this is just a different scenarios that i'm picking up uh, at the moment so stay tuned for the um other spread here i would like to ask the cards Oops. Show me Pisces hopes, please. Pisces hopes. Pisces hopes for Feb. Thank you. Okay. You're wanting a change here. You're wanting something to crumble. You want to move forward. This is your hopes. You want this to end. You want this energy to come to an end. And it feels like your hopes are going to happen here we have the the king of wands the justice and the tower let me see your fears please show me pisces fears okay the knight of pentacles these are your fears so you're fearing for this situation not to unfold you're fearing for this situation to take forever you know but it feels like here you need this in order to move forward you need this in order for you to reach the ace of pentacles which is one of the most beautiful long-lasting stable opportunities you can have okay please show me an outcome here for pisces if this reading resonates with you please comment below the more comments we will receive on the readings you will have an extra reading in the middle of the month so um i will really encourage you to do so thank you so please show me an outcome for Pisces here, an outcome for Pisces. Okay, the lovers in the reverse. So, okay, interesting. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. King of Cups, the devil, justice, and the lovers. So you could also be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini or a Capricorn there is a choice here to be made you are dropping this energy there is a choice about you dropping this energy could be a person you were involved with emotionally could be a partner that you are letting go of in order for you to find this balance within yourself okay beautiful new beginning the page of wands here at any point of time when you are going to let go of this energy here, you are going to have new opportunities for you. Look, you are going to reach ultimate, you know, emotional stability here with the Ten of Cups. You are going to feel better emotionally. You are going to feel fulfilled. And I don't know why here, but I have a... I have a, you know, I'm, I'm pulled to this king of wands over here. Somebody that will either help you or invest in you. You have the seven of pentacles. Somebody that will help you go either through this or this is your energy here. Like this is a fiery energy that you have to dig within yourself to find in order for you, you know, to gain the strength to overcome all of this. But I see beautiful brand new beginning here. I'm very drawn to the Ace of Pentacles. You are going to reach this because it's just below you. Okay. And you are going to have this brand new opportunity and you are going to reach this ultimate emotional fulfillment. Beautiful. feel so light and you know you have there is a movement of energies here there is a movement also with um uh, the the reading i'm doing now is on the 31st of jen 
And tonight there is this beautiful super blood blue moon and there is definitely you know a higher power when it comes to eclipsing anything that is not serving us so i feel like this is going to work into your favor as well and it will help you drop you know anything that is toxic for you in the month of february and by the end of feb you will oh my god you will feel so light and so you know uh, full of energy and I feel I, f I really feel that you are going to be very very um, happy emotionally this is the psychic tarot deck so I'm going to ask for three cards here for the sign of Pisces three cards for Pisces okay Three cards for Pisces to show the February energy, please. Thank you. Okay, so I have more than that. I have four, which is okay. Okay, so look at the bottom of the deck here. You have spiritual strength. It's interesting here. You actually, you are going to go through some uh, challenges, some tests, but this is just to test your emotional and spiritual strength so do not you know drop everything do not feel defeated because this is just a test in order for you to have victory and success and material harvest okay anything that you wish for is on its way to you and here this is the six of ones and it's also about you know how victorious you are going to be you are going to be fulfilled and i told you that already however you have your third chakra sorry your third eye third eye chakra that needs to be balanced and here we have the balance you know on in the reverse so for some of you you would need to rebalance your third eye chakra in order for you to see clearly what are the obstacles and how to, you know, overcome these challenges? How to balance your third eye chakra? If you would, if you can, if you're a little bit spiritual and you can bring on your energies and, you know, pass it on through the, your crown chakra and ask the higher energy, the higher self to help you balance all your chakras, help you cleanse them, clean them, sorry, and help you reactivate all their powers if you can then there are diff different guided meditation on youtube that can do that uh, can help you do that as well otherwise if you can do some energy healing i would really really recommend that it's just a tiny little thing that you need to do in order for you to you know rebalance yourself and reach this victory and success material harvest i love this card this is all your wishes being fulfilled so yeah definitely it's a way of manifesting your dreams also please try to write on a piece of paper to if, tonight if you can if you're watching the video today just write on a piece of paper paper what it is you want to manifest and you know let it out on the full moon tonight okay so now we are going to do a love spread so bring on the energies of your partner or potential partner, ex or whoever you want to inquire about. Okay. And we are going to ask the cards for a potential love reading here between you and this person. Please show me four more cards. Thank you. Wow. True love. Interesting. Potential. Thank you. And the outcome. Please show me the outcome. Thank you. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have engagement. Hmm. 
your love life is ascending to a higher commitment so before starting i would like to pull more a few more cards from this the psychic tarot deck not the psychic tarot deck sorry the witch's tarot just to give you okay you see i told you this nine of night no, king of wands and it showed in your the end of the reading the king of wands like some fire sign is there for you pisces hmm okay calling in your soulmate give me a card for calling in your soulmate please okay the king of swords Chemistry, show me. Okay. One card. For the release your X. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords in the reverse. So definitely. I feel like for some of you, as I said in the previous reading, you are going to let go of something and start something new. So this is actually the energy of whatever you are leaving behind. Okay, so this is you, true love. And you are involved with the king of wands here. This romance is for a lifetime. So what I feel here is not only like new love or whatever. It's somebody that is here in your life. Really somebody that is very passionate, that is expressing their love for you. Perhaps someone that is, I would say, um, going too fast for you at some point you know but it's somebody that is here to make things happen it's not like somebody to just chit chat and not you know not not making things you know real they want to commit to you they're ready they're ready for a commitment they're ready to actually build something with you move in together or just perhaps even proposing and as i told you their energy is going to help you get rid of you know something from the past they're going to assist you okay calling in your soulmate so they are calling their soulmate and it feels like you are their soulmate here although um so they could be also having this energy of you know having some they know exactly what they want so they could also be having fire and air in their chart but what i feel here they're very they could be uh, authoritative they know what they want and they're going for whatever they want and they're not like letting anyone or anything disrupt what actually they're thinking so perhaps this energy is frightening i feel for some of you could be frightening you in a way However, they are not. They, they they do not have any bad intentions. It's just the way they are. They make things happen. I feel like they could be also entrepreneurial, and they're used to people, you know, executing what they want to 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 do, what they want to achieve. Um, but I feel here they could be just looking at you and saying, "Okay, I want this person, and I'm going to get her no matter what." And they know, they feel like you are their soulmate. And it's not something, you know, that you could, you, you can explain or they can explain. It's just a feeling. The potential here, there is a seven of pentacles and forgiving and learning. Okay. So I feel as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. But I feel here with some of you, one of you is still waiting from something from the past to close but it says here you have to close that door yourself this is the message that i'm hearing you have to take that door and close it yourself you have learned from it now it's time for you to forgive and you know just move forward 
However, there is a beautiful chemistry with this person, but there is still an energy from the past, an energy of this past soulmate at me. That is uh, here, and you are releasing that emotional. Yeah, definitely. You are releasing that emotional burden that you have from the past or with this, uh, you know, person. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. So this is this is your energy, Pisces. What I feel here, you are going to have clarity on what it is you need to release on that chemistry with the past soulmate. Okay, in order for you to move forward. But what I feel here is you talking either talking about releasing this energy or talking about uh how this energy impacted you or how it is impacting you in moving in in you know having chemistry with this person okay and the advice the outcome here you have released your ex the time has come to clear your energy so look at how many cards of releasing the past you have forgiving and learning you have the six of cups in the reverse you have released your ex and here you are going out through this map from this mental prison that you are in you are releasing this energy you are forgiving and learning from the past you are having better clarity on you know this soulmate that you had to let go of and you are welcoming i feel you are welcoming this king of wands here and look at this you are going to be successful it's the six of wands and it is exactly the same card as we have received previously from the psychic tarot deck and it is victory and success this person is going to help you become victorious and successful you know so this king of wands is wow a beautiful energy that you shouldn't discount you shouldn't disregard they're here for you and they are going to really really assist your life to um, to make a turning point like that wheel of uh, fortune that you need to turn into your favor it is going to happen okay so now we are going to ask the healing angel cards for a message thank you friendship so it's calling to call your friends here to help you or to advise you thank you okay and trust so it's calling you to trust you know let me take this deck here I don't know if you can see to let me hold it well at the bottom of the deck you have power okay so to trust your inner power here it is calling you to have faith and to trust your power and the friendships you're having as well because they are going to help you you know tap into your power or they are going to help you through that clearing of toxic and bad energy you are in the process of you know clearing at the moment so interesting and now it's the time that you can uh, ask any specific question for you and we are going to ask the angel answers cards to answer you and you are going to have a specific answer if you're meant to know the answer if not then it will not resonate with you so go ahead and ask your question if you're not ready just pause this video for a few seconds until you get your question and I'm going to be shuffling until I have a popping card here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So it says here, you're ready. So I feel here you're ready for what it is you need to let go of or, you know, apply this to your specific question and you also have unlikely so for some of you, the, 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 you have this answer and for others of you, you have your ready. So please just take on these energies and these answers and apply them to your specific situation. Okay?